So the EcoHealth approach is an approach to address complicated, difficult problems of health and community and environment linked together. The approach is an approach for research, for education and for practice, for practitioners. It uh, is bringing together um, the ideas that human health and the well-being of communities is linked to healthy ecosystems. And so this approach in order to achieve human health in healthy ecosystems requires um, thinking of problems in a, as, as linked together in a system. So linkages between the different factors that, if, that create a problem. And to address those problems, not only do we need to think in different ways, but we need to bring in different perspectives, different scientific expertise, also different forms of knowledge, participation from the local community, and to work together to generate a new understanding, a new, new knowledge about the problem, and possibilities for action. And through this, we hope to achieve not only health and healthy ecosystems and healthy well-being in communities, but also uh, sustainability in the environment, sustainability in the community, fair, just, equitable living for communities. We must be very um, uh, clear and honest that this is hard work, complicated work, uh, requiring much uh, negotiation with other thinking, other people, communities. Therefore, not possible to do eco-health by oneself. You need a team. You need uh, not only a strong team of researchers, you need strong uh, institutions like La Fundación Santa Fe that can support you in this. Sometimes you will come to political uh, or pragmatic walls or barriers in, in your uh, Im implementation of this. And so there, there are many things required, but a strong team, strong motivation, strong institutional support, time, uh, resources. These are all things that are required to, uh, to uh, implement an eco-health research, research or an eco-health intervention in a way that will have an impact on the long term. The main advantage of, of an eco-health approach when using it for a complex problem is that you have the chance to expose and to reveal, to discover new uh, opportunities for solution. This is the reason we make these large investments in time, effort, uh, is to find the new path to making a better situation, breaking the problem. Uh, but there are barriers and, and, it, and the main ones are the number of people that must be involved, the need to have the cooperation of the community or the, the people where the problem is occurring, the need to bring in decision makers who have power over the, the, the situation, the, and, uh, and the time that it takes to move through all of this into a space where you can make a difference. Most projects, uh, the, the intent, the idea of working on a problem in an integrated way to make a, a better uh, situation, more well-being, um, uh, fewer health problems and a better environment, this motivation is, is the, the first piece. Then the the rest becomes about how and, and how far. So how, and the systems thinking, I think is fundamental to this, to understand that the problem is a problem because of many interrelated factors. Some that are easy to fix, 
some that are very difficult. Then, depending on how the, the, the project or the intervention or the research is being planned, some element of, of multidisciplinarity and different perspectives, some element of participation of the key stakeholders uh, are key to have this project be anything more than a regular epidemiological or agronomic or whatever uh, research project. So depending on the different, uh, the problem and the approach to the problem and the possible solutions and interventions that the research is already thinking, uh, you will bring in more or less of some of these other elements. But ultimately, we are looking to move, to, to create a solution to the problem that is treating everyone fairly, not making one group uh, benefit less than another group, um, and, uh, and looking for a more sustainable, uh, environmentally sustainable solution. And these pieces ultimately will be reflected more or less, but I think are all present in, in the, um, the approach. And when we are talking about research in an equal health context, we are talking about knowledge to action. The research is generating knowledge. The knowledge is being tested and shown to be valid and rigorous in a scientific way. And then that knowledge is being used to make a change. And that is the action piece. Certainly it's possible to apply this thinking in, in uh, any number of human health, animal health uh, problems, and even problems that are not strongly health oriented, but maybe more ecosystem oriented. The, the thinking about problems being interlinked um, and of humans and our behavior in ecosystems being connected very closely uh, these ideas are applicable in any context. EcoHealth has many successes and is now um, recognized internationally. There's an international association, there are conferences every two years. Uh, but, it, but there is still um, a need to strengthen the evidence base. There's uh, still a need for more um, papers in scientific journals and more strength of the scientific evidence that shows that this approach has an impact that is different or as important as other approaches and complementary to more uh, uh, traditional public health or epidemiological approaches, for example, if we're talking about vector-borne disease. Believe that uh, by working together you can make a difference um, with evidence, with good uh, research that shows um, a real difference. And I think this idea that um, with good, strong results, even from small research, uh, that, and working together with other perspectives and with the communities, you can make a difference in the lives of the people who are suffering from a particular problem. And I think that belief uh, with some persistence uh, is, is my advice.